It's an annual occurrence in the dry season. A smoky, hazardous haze blankets southern Malaysia and Singapore. This year, it was so bad that in some affected areas, there was a 100% rise in the number of asthma cases. Hundreds of schools were closed, and the government of Malaysia distributed gas masks. The source of the pollution lies across the Malacca Strait in Indonesia, where illegal burning of forest to clear space for palm oil plantations continues unabated. Indonesian President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono offered a public apology. For what has happened, as president, I apologized and asked for the understanding of brothers in Singapore and Malaysia. The Indonesian president promised to prosecute anyone involved in illegal slash and burn activities. Eight Southeast Asian companies are reportedly under investigation. But the ongoing deforestation seems to contradict past promises. In 2009, President Yudo Yono pledged to reduce by 26 percent greenhouse gas emissions caused mostly by deforestation. And in 2011, he instituted a moratorium protecting designated forest areas. In exchange, environmentally conscious Norway pledged $1 billion to support these efforts. Ariana Alice Jabana at the World Resources Institute says local officials are not supporting the national plan. Actually, it's a lack of coordination and lack of enforcement. So uh, when, we, when we look over all the different rules that Indonesia has on the books, um, you know, theoretically speaking, they're very, very good ones, but they're just not enforced. Although the economic incentive to replace forests with farms hampers conservation, Alice Jabana says long-term progress is being made. Only 4% of the fires, of the fire alerts, happened in protected areas. So I think one of the really good solutions is to, to actually, you know, designate the area as protected. But she says a greater commitment to stop the slash and burn deforestation through incentives and strict penalties for violations is needed. Brian Patton, VOA News, Washington.